Hey guys, I just wanted to make a PSA on Genshin Impact FPS unlockers scams. Um, obviously Genshin only runs at 60 FPS even if you have a higher refresh rate monitor. However, there are working FPS unlockers out there that let Genshin run above 60 FPS and make it display it as like 144 FPS or something like that, right? Um, but, of course, there will always be assholes out there who try to take advantage of the situation, right? So, this guy named Ika Impact here First of all, rips the thumbnail straight from this guy, okay? Second of all, I'm downloading hey. the file and running it will give you a Trojan. And I'm seeing this off of personal experience. I tried downloading it myself. Put it through virus total, right? Only like, only like two things detected anything. However, when I open the file, I got a Trojan, okay? Now, whether it's actually a Trojan or a virus, it doesn't really matter to me because there's already a working FPS unlocker out there. There's no point risking it with these kind of things, right? Not to mention, that this guy has a lot of botted comments, which, I mean, I, I can't talk much, guys. I, I got botted too, but... The, the bots on this channel are clearly intended to make the video seem legit, whereas mine are trying to promote a scam. Guys, I tried to delete them all. I couldn't. Okay, I gave up. I'm sorry. But the difference is clear, right? This is just here to make it seem like this guy's tutorial actually works. And it's even worse because this guy couldn't be bothered to just change the comments up a bit. You, you see the exact same comments like over and over again. Um, anyways, even worse is that this guy uses the exact same videos. So uh, here's this three days ago. Got gotten you walking in league with some like purple FPS, right? Or purple text, right? His first video ever. Baby, same exact video. Okay, like there's clearly so, like something wrong with this channel, okay? And obviously, just don't trust this guy. There's already a working FPS unlocker out there, and it's this right here. I will put this in the description below. This has not gotten anyone banned. This I don't I don't know I don't know how it works, okay? But it seems to not it seems to be pretty risk free. This guy's been using it since release. I've been using it since release. Or I mean I don't know how long this guy's been using it, but he said he's been using it since like like 1.2 or something. It doesn't really matter. Besides the point, this is a legit version, and I'll try to download it. Very easy, just press on the unlock FPS.exe, it'll download it. I already have it installed, I'm pretty sure. It's fine. Okay, I have it right here. I'm gonna uh, delete the old one. I'm gonna pin it to my taskbar when I, when I open it. You're gonna get this Windows Defender Smart Screen thingy. Just press more info, run out anyways. And then, what's gonna happen is, gonna ask you to uh, give permission to it, just press yes. And then it just opens Genshin immediately. And um, you can edit the FPS here with using home up and down. So like using home, pressing home, and then pressing the down or up arrows. Um, obviously, if you have a 144 hertz monitor, then put it at like 160 or something. I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I put it at 260. I could go even higher if I wanted to. But anyways, let's go ahead and load Genshin and show that it actually works. So first off, obviously, uh, OBS and YouTube only runs at 60 FPS, so you guys can't tell that it's going above 60 FPS. However, there is a way for me to prove that this is above 60 FPS. So basically, this looks like 60 FPS to you guys. Obviously, on my screen it looks like 100, like 240 hertz or 240 FPS. But if I go to graphics right here, instead it's a 30. It should be more choppy for you guys, right? It should not be 60 anymore for you guys. But look. This still looks like 60 FPS to you guys, even though it's on 30. So this shows that this actually works, right? Uh, point is, please download it from here. Don't fall for redirects. Just get you from the GitHub. This guy's an idiot. He stole this guy's thumbnail as well. Just, you have to open it every time you play Genshin. It's worth the hassle, though, because it looks so good. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.